Good dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. An inductor L equal to 0 0.03 Henry and a resistor R equal to 0 0.15 kilo ohm are connected in series to a battery of 15 volt EMF in a circuit shown below. The key K1 has been kept closed for a long time. Then T equal to 0, K1 is opened and the key K2 is closed simultaneously. At T equal to 1 millisecond, the current in the circuit will be here we have to find out the current and e raised to power 5 we given that approximately 150 okay and here we have given the four options option a 100 milli ampere option b 67 milli ampere option c 0 0.67 milli ampere option d 6.7 milli ampere to the question here we have given the circuit in this circuit contains inductance which having 0 0.03 Henry and the resistance is given 0 0.15 kilo ohm that is connected with K to P and this system is connected with the battery of 15 volt EMF and uh, this battery is connected with K1 key. Initially K1 is pressed that time it became to charge and after some time that K1 is opened and K2 is closed that time it became to discharge. So here we have using the formula for the discharge. So I recall you which formula we have using for the charging that is I equal to I naught 1 minus E raised to power minus T by tau. Here tau is time constant. This formula is used for charging and I equal to I naught E raised to power minus T by tau. This formula used for discharging. So here we have using this formula. Firstly, I naught. What is the meaning of I naught? I naught is the peak value. What does it mean of peak value? Peak means uh, peak value means peak value of current that is mean maximum current. That time no any losses. So here firstly we have to find out I naught. What is I naught? V upon R. So what is the V? That is 15 volt. And what is the R? That is 0 0.15 kilo. Kilo means 10 raised to power 3. Okay. Removing this decimal, 1, 2 means 100. 15, 15 cancel out. It is 1000. So here, I naught equal to 1 by 10 ampere. Okay. Substitute this value of I naught in this equation for discharging 1 by 10 E and uh, T. What is T? T is given that 1 millisecond. Millisecond means 10 raised to power minus 3. And what is tau? Tau is L by R. It is reciprocal, so therefore it can be written as R by L. What is R? R is given that 0 0.15 kilo. Kilo means 10 raised to power 3. And what is R? Uh, what is L? 0 0.03. Okay. So I equal to 1 by 10 e raised to power. This is point after point 2 digits here after point 2 digits so therefore removing this decimals 3 5 are 15 so here 5 and 10 is for minus 3 10 is for plus 3 plus 3 and minus 3 will be cancel out so and it is negative so minus 5 and i equal to 1 by 10 it can be written as 1 by e raised to power 5. What is e raised to power 5 is given 150. So i equal to 1500. Now it can be written as i equal to 1 by 15 into 10 raised to power minus 2. 15. 
again. So here it can be written as 0 0.067 into 10 to the power minus 2. Multiply by 10 and divided by 10. So here multiply by 10 and divided by 10. It become 0.67 into 10 to the power minus 3. Minus 3 ampere, then it can be written as 0 0.67 milli ampere. So, which option is correct here? Here, option C is correct. I hope so. You understood this question. So, dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Question. An LCR series circuit of capacitance 62.5 nanofarad and resistance of 50 ohm is connected to an AC source of frequency 2 kilohertz for maximum value of amplitude of current in circuit the value of inductance is fill in the blanks and this answer should be milli henry here take pi square equal to k so according to the question all the informations i have written on the board that is e capacitance 62.5 nanofarad resistance 50 ohm frequency 2 kilohertz Inductance we have to find out in milli Henry and pi square is given that k. Okay, as we know that in the condition of resonance in LCR circuit that is uh, inductive reactance equal to capacitive reactance are equal means XL equal to XC. What is XL? That is omega L equal to one upon omega C. Omega square one upon LC. Then omega equal to root lc and what is omega omega angular frequency can be written as 2 pi frequency equal to 1 upon root lc but we have to find out inductance so therefore squaring both the side then we get 4 pi square f square equal to 1 upon lc then n is transposing to the left side in numerator okay and all these terms transposing to the right side in denominator that is 4 pi square x square c. Okay. Now substitute all this value 4 pi square. Pi square is 10. What is f? Frequency is given that 2 kilohertz. So convert into hertz means 2 into 10 to power 3 whole square. And what is the capacitance? 62. 0.5 nanofarad convert into farad means multiply 10 to power minus 9 and n equal to 1 upon 4 into 10 2 square means 4 10 to power 6 62.5 into 10 to power minus 9 then n equal to 1 upon 4 4 is 16 into 62.5 into 10 and 10 is for 6 not become 10 to the power 7 and minus 9 okay so here n equal to 1 upon 62.5 into 16 how much 16 5 is 80 0 carry 8 16 2 is 32 means 40 0 carry 4 16 6 is 96 that is 100 and after counting one number decimal so here we get 1000 so here 1000 in 10 to the power 3 that is already 7 minus 9 that is minus 2 means l equal to 1 upon 10 to the power 3 minus 2 means l equal to 1 upon 10 in uh, henry but we have to find out our answer should be in milli henry so multiply by 10 to the power 3 So now L equal to 100 milli Henry. Okay, I hope so. You understood this question.
Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely for your success, all the credit goes to your hard work. But if my video will help for your success, then I will consider myself lucky. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely for your success, all the credit goes to your hard work. But if my video will help for your success, then I will consider myself lucky. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye bye.